Hello, in this session we will discuss expression for radius of curvature for the paddle craft. Now, let us say that in the polar coordinate system, we have the curve r equal to f of theta and let there be any point p r and theta be the parameter so let's say this is that point p now the angle of p with the initial axis with the initial side will be actually let's say given by theta and let's draw a tangent to this curve at point p which meets the initial line let's say at point L and makes an angle of psi so that is the slope of this tangent is tan psi now if you drop a perpendicular from the pole to this tangent let's say this meets at the point N so with this we can see the radius vector OP will have a length of R theta is already mentioned let's say the length of o n that is perpendicular from the pole to the tangent to the point p of the curve be p now the angle between the radius vector and the tangent is given by phi so now we can see that in this triangle which is a right angle triangle we will have sine phi equal to p by R. So this is triangle ONP. Now from here itself we will get that P is actually R sin phi that is the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent at the point P of the curve. Now if we differentiate this let's say with respect to R then so this will be dp by dr equal to differentiation of r so that will give you sin phi let's say we are writing it here differentiation of sin phi with respect to r so r cos phi and differentiation of phi with respect to r that is applying chain rule here now as we know that for the polar form ds by d theta is actually given by under root of r square plus r1 square we also know that tan phi will be r times of d theta by dr so using these two results we will get that sin phi will be given as r times of d theta by ds and also cos phi will actually be simply dr by ds now we will use this result in the equation let's say this is number 1 so in equation number 1 we will get dp by dr equal to r times of cos phi that is dr by ds times of d phi by dr plus sin phi which will be r times of d theta by ds now with this relation we can make some rearrangements and write this dp by dr as r times of d phi by ds plus d theta by ds as dr dr gets cancelled from the first term and now we also know that psi is actually given by theta plus phi so this means we'll have dp by dr equal to r times of d of phi plus theta by ds and therefore this is simply dp by dr equal to r times of d psi by ds the arrangement here 
can give us ds by d phi which will be rho that is radius of curvature so d p by d r is r by rho and therefore rho is r times of d r by d p so this is the expression for radius of curvature in the pedal graph and this is the result which we will be using so i hope it is clear thank you